This brings new meaning to the saying, hands off. You're looking at Nissan's self-driving car. Standard look in the front, but geeked out in the back to help you not do anything on the road. The guy's not touching the steering wheel, he's not touching the accelerator. See? Wave, yeah. wave, no problem. Turning on the driverless settings is like firing up your GPS. Cameras, radar sensors, and laser scanners take over, keeping an eye on everything happening outside the vehicle. It's detected the car's coming, it's detected it's not safe to go into the lane, it's now detected that the lane is clear, and it takes us across the white line. To date, Nissan's tech efforts have been overshadowed by other players. The most talked about name in electric cars is Elon Musk's Tesla. And even though Nissan has pledged to have a driverless car on the road by 2020, Google still gets the lion's share of the self-driving headlines. The pressure is on for the company to show that this car is truly unique from anything else that competitors are bringing to market. Nissan has opened a Silicon Valley office in search of partners, be it Google or startups, that can bring more cool tech to its driverless car, now in the demo stage. Eventual buyers will want a good price, legal protection if something goes wrong with the technology, and of course safety, one reason why Nissan's building its own cityscape to test real-world realities. We've come to a stop, safe, and parked.